Good afternoon, explorers. Today I am in Rabat, next to Mdina, the old capital city, and I am going to visit the Roman catacombs. The St. Paul's Roman catacombs in Rabat are actually the largest networks catacombs in all Malta discovered so far. So a uh, massive is a massive site to explore, and today it's even more exciting because Heritage Malta is organizing a particular reenactment called Mortem. There will be a Roman legion, a parade, Roman food to um, live back again what it was the, pa the parentalia, a particular Roman costume held during the 13th February until the 21st of February uh, with the purpose to commemorate the death, the relatives gone, the, their own ancestors. So it will be held also a representation of a typical Roman funeral and uh, we have the occasion to explore the catacombs with the guide of Heritage Malta. Come and have a look and enjoy this exploration with Flora the Explorer. As you meet Kiron, the ferryman. The perfect perfumes. We cover you with them so that you will be well prepared to meet the three judges Minos, Radomantos. And the Acros. So that you may receive water from the river. Yes, we are ready. And may those who knew our Albanos mourn and remember the great man that he was. Completely unexpected. Thank you for accepting this high energy. 
pleasure for me to praise this great man. Let us proceed. Funerals of important people usually included a eulogy that sums up the deceased's most important deeds, together with his ancestors' stories and successes. Eulogies were usually carried out in the forum. However, the procession could be preceded by the orator shouting praises for the deceased. Albanus Balbo. A great friend and a great brother has left this world, but his path to the plain of Asphodel will not deny us of our memories spent together. The greatness of this man is seen by all in his work, in his family, and in the love he sown in his friends. Today we mourn him, but tomorrow we will celebrate his memory, the memory of a great friend, a great brother, and a great man. There is no need for a monument of Albanus, because the monument of Albanus is in each and every one of us who lived with him. His monument is not made out of cold marble like the monuments he used to do from his marble, but is made out of his deeds. <coughs> Albanus Balbus, guide us from your afterlife so we too live the life you lived amongst us. And when we join and embrace you in the plain of Asphodel, we too can leave a living example like you have. So, Explorer, this is the tomb where the dead was buried and now friends and relatives are going to meet each other to share some meal together in a particular shape table that is called agape table and that it was the custom of the Romans during the um, parentalias, this particular festivity dedicated to the commemoration of the dead.
unlocking this so we can all We are going also to taste some particular and typical Roman food. Nick already have eaten all his stew in his roll, right Nick? It was very nice, lamb stew in a roll, <laughs> marvellous. You like the Roman food? I like the Roman food. That's great. So let's go with our, our exploration. Let's, let's explore. Let's explore. <laughs>